All right, YouTube. So on my last video, you saw I planted blue, blue potatoes in uh, two containers. Um, today I'm planting some Yukon Golds. Um, I only have five, so I have more holes that I need. Uh, so the rest I'll just cover them up. Because the front row I already have planted. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's already planted. And today's February 15th. So a day after Valentine's Day. So that video I made with the potatoes was the day before, so this will be the day after. And hopefully we'll be seeing this tomorrow, Friday. And with the holes, I just used a drill and this drill bit you could get from a big box store and drilled some holes. I know I said I'm a no-dig gardener, but uh, if you were trying to plant potatoes in here, you have a hard time just because it's really hard. Now, uh, when I was drilling, it, it, it couldn't go all the way. So, I think doing a dig for right now should be fine. Let's help loosen the soil, help with the potatoes loosen the soil also. Uh, but yeah, let's get these planted. And basically, I'm going to plant these exactly the same way I planted potatoes. Except without the Dr. Earth fertilizer. Just because I forgot to bring it outside and uh, I'm already recording so I don't want to go back inside to get it. So... A handful of bone meal. Um, if you want to, you could add blood meal. If you think it, you don't have enough nitrogen in your soil, I think my soil is fine. And uh, if worse comes to worse, I'll just add some compost tea, compost extract, or even compost itself. But yeah. Uh, this is where my dog dug for whatever reason. Probably thought you saw an animal or something and trying to kill it. But if you're wondering, I plan on I plan on planting these to the depth of uh, this part. I didn't go any higher just because uh, this is gonna be not deep, and this is probably just like maybe a foot, something like that. I didn't measure it, but you don't need to bury them too deep, and they don't need to be too high either. But yeah, it's just simple like that. Say that you didn't have the hole and you needed a hole, just drill to the to that depth. Simple one and plant recover. Plant step two. Cover the soil. Step three. And then plant. And then you're all done. You could add mulch right now, or you can just call it a day. But because I feel this video is going to be short, I'm going to show you how I plant some sweet potatoes for the first time. So I get some sweet potato slips and plant on the next raised bed whenever it's ready. Because right now uh, it's way too cold to be planting sweet potatoes, but it's good for you can get them ready when it's time to plant so let me show you that next okay guys so here's how this bed looks like after I mulched it up uh, I had mostly mulch on top because that's where I bought the seed potato and these were store bought potatoes so I'm not too worried if these don't come up but yeah uh, the same thing I did with my container potatoes uh, I'm gonna do it with these potatoes I'm not gonna water these until I start seeing sprouts and uh, like I said before um, it doesn't need water right now because there's no roots, so there's nothing for it to drink. And plus, my soil is still pretty wet from all the rain, and uh, it might rain again this week, or either Monday or Tuesday, or something like that. So I'm not too worried about having water in this anyway. All right, let me show you how I grow the sweet potatoes. All right, guys, so I got an iron sheet pan here, uh, filled with a little bit of soil, uh, not too much soil, and I'm just a layer some potatoes now and I put more soil on top of that um, ideally I would have holes in the bottom but I completely forgot to do that so if you're gonna leave this outside uh, you probably want to do that first and then start filling it back with soil and then potatoes okay so this is how it looks like after I plant the potatoes uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed but basically you just want to backfill this Oops, found some old roots. 
Uh, you don't want to bury it just so you can get some of the plant slips out. Sorry this is all janky and I'm trying to record and show you how to do this at the same time. And okay, that's how it looks. And uh, these should be ready to plant in about a week or two, maybe. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on these sweet potatoes, but yeah, that's how I basically plant potatoes, sweet potatoes. And yeah, I think that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want to keep up with me, um, yeah, subscribe, please. I would love to see you again. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.